hi everyone and welcome back to my channel once again so in today's video we are going to paint all these lovely flowers and i have used many different kind of colors for today's video like in this one i have used neon watercolor and then i have also used normal watercolor and i have used metallic color for all the three rows that we have so in today's video i'm going to show you the magic of these beautiful glittery color this is from mab watercolor and this one is the fairy series and it has six different glittery color as you can see and we are going to utilize all these six color in a different different way so my first way to use these metallic color directly into the white sheet so i'm using this 300 gsm watercolor sheet and let's see how this metallic color is looking when we are directly putting into this sheet itself most of the time i have seen metallic color does not go really well with white sheet but i think this one is pretty nice to see so for the first flower i'm using this pink color this is on the dark side because we have one more shade of purple pinkish color and I'm creating a flower inspired by lotus and I have kept all the petals little bit at distance keeping one fine negative space in between and I'm creating two petals towards onward direction so I'm done with the flower I think this one is pretty amazing and this color is looking really nice on the white sheet also so let's try one more color this one is blue color and again i'm using more color and less water so that we can see the effect of metallic color better because usually whenever we use metallic color we have to uh, either glaze it over the watercolor or you can make some watercolor pattern as well but as we are directly using metallic color i think we need more concentration of color and less water into it so in the second flower i'm creating an oval kind of shape and i'm creating small small petals alternate so i have created three petals at the base and in between two petals i'm creating two more and then it is ladder kind of structure and then you can create some extra pattern and design around the edges to make it little towards oval side and this one is pretty nice flower and i'm liking this blue color as well now let's check this one this one is purple pinkish kind of color and in this one i'm creating a flower inspired by lavender so i'm creating an oval kind of shape and i'm moving towards upward direction keeping these petal left and right and i'm going to create one middle stem in the center to connect all these petals together to create one single flower and i think all these colors are looking very nice when we are directly using metallic color i'm also going to show you what you can do with normal watercolor and how you can use this metallic color to make your flower more effective so we're done with the flower now i'm thinking to use green color to create stems and leaf so we have this glittery green color as well so let's see how it is looking when we are trying to create stems and leaves so create a stem in the center and then you can create different pattern of leaf so i am creating a big leaf little bit oval side and having one pointed end this one is lotus flower as you can see but i'm not creating lotus leaf but it's totally fine this is your flower and you can do anything whatever you like now in the second one i'm creating a small base of flower and a little bit of sepals around the base and little longer leaf this time remember whenever you are using only metallic color try using more color and less water and then only you are able to make these kind of flower effective now let's finish the third one again i'm creating the middle stem in this one you can create different kind of leaf so i'm creating a small small leaf like petal itself and arranging this in a group to create single leaf so we're done with the first row 
wherein I have used only metallic color and these metallic color are pretty nice from MAB watercolor so if you want to buy these color you can get a link into my description section also you can get 10% discount if you are using my code mentioned in the description section itself so let's move to the second row wherein I am going to show you how we can use these beautiful metallic color with normal watercolor so I am creating a flower I have created an oval shape and then I have created a small oval shape mostly towards upward direction so as you can see the length is vary from the center and from the circumference of the circle so as per your distance you can create longer and shorter leaves so in the lower direction I have bigger space so I have created longer petals and in the upward direction I have smaller space so I have created smaller petals now in the center you can create center part of the flower I am using black color nothing fancy I am just keeping some negative space in between these black color to create center part and then I am using green color to create stems and leaf so leaves are pretty simple small small pointed longer leaves like this now in the second one I am creating a round shape I have kept the center part mostly towards one side and then I am keeping six lines these are mostly on the curve side and then along with the line you can create petals so because I have more space towards left side the petals are a little longer so I have created three petals longer and we are able to see all the petals now in these two petals as these are tilted towards back side so we are not seeing the pointed end and that is how you can create different perspective of flowers now you can create a one big line to create a stem in like hibiscus flower this one is inspired by that particular flower and for the leaf I am adding serrated leaves so I am going through creating multiple one stroke combining together to create one single leaf now let's move to the last one so again I'm using black color I'm creating center part of the flower a black dot and small small dots around it and then with the help of pink color I'm creating petals around it so you can choose different perspective of flowers or try anything simple whatever is comfortable for you and all these flowers are pretty much done I have used normal watercolor to paint these three flowers and now I'm going to show you how we can utilize MAB watercolor to enhance these three so in the first one we have used only metallic color and in this one we're going to get some extra effect with the metallic color but before that wait until all the flower gets dried completely my first one is dried so we can start with that and I'm using this violet silver kind of color and uh, I'm going through the flower area and I'm creating lines with the metallic color like this and this color is pretty much visible when we are using this over to the blue color and giving us a very nice effect as you can see and the golden color and green color combination is my favorite I always like to use glittery golden around the green color so I'm going to use this metallic golden color throughout the leaves that we have so I'm creating lines like this to get some additional detailing into the leaf area with the help of golden color and I think this is the most effective way to enhance your painting so let's do the last one as well with the help of golden color and see how effective these flowers are looking once we have added these metallic color these metallic color are homemade metallic color by Milena Bozek and she has different series of metallic color having different kind of effect in the white sheet and black sheet so definitely go and check her website and see what is useful for you and what you can do something special with your daily activity now you can add some lines and dots for the second flower 
so basically you can do anything whatever you like you can create different pattern with metallic color you can just add lines to enhance your petal area or maybe you can glazed it uh, with the help of metallic color to get some extra effect so i like to do some linings and creating some extra detailing with the help of metallic color and i'm using different color of metallic about to the different color of watercolor so you need to think which color going really well with which color and you will get to know a couple of them are really going well with green color a couple of them are really going well with blue color so something like this we can do now i'm using this mab neon color which is very unique trust me this one is amazing color from mab watercolor and i have these colors so why not to create some more flowers with these neon color as well as and we can see how effective metallic color are about to the neon color so you need to take care of one thing when you are using neon color to paint flowers try to use more color and less water so i am washing my brush with the help of clean water and then i am dipping my brush into the color a little bit and then trying to create these petals so you will see the gradients effect of neon color into my petal area which is important otherwise you will end up having very vibrant and dark petals but that is also fine it depend on what kind of taste you have but i like to keep flowers little bit darker lighter combinations so i am using more water and less colors so the first flower is from neon pink and for the second flower i am using neon purple and blue color so i have created little bigger petal at the base towards downward direction and then i am creating couple of more petals with neon blue color this one is inspired by iris flower and there are endless possibilities to create different kind and varieties of flowers you just need to look around and see what you can do you can take inspiration from real flower or you can use your own imagination to paint all these flowers and then you can use metallic color to enhance the beauty of these flowers i am using neon color only for the petal area i am using normal watercolor for leaves stems and for center part of the flower so this gives you a nice contrast when you are using neon color for the flowers and rest other area you can do with the normal watercolor you can use neon color to paint stems and leaves as well but i think uh, this is better idea to use or to combine these two color together so i am creating last flower with the help of neon orange color and neon yellow color this is so vibrant see how beautiful this neon color is and i have created three petals little rounder i am using neon yellow color in between these petals and i'm also creating leaf in a similar manner little in the oval side and you can also use little bit of neon pink color around the neon orange color something like this you can do and we are done with all the flowers with the help of neon color as well now let's use these metallic color and see how this is going with the neon color so i'm using again golden color around the green area of the flower like we did for the second row as well so nothing fancy and uh, this combination is the best combination i always feel so i'm glazing i'm creating some lines and pattern with the help of metallic color and then i'm using this pink color to create some more lines and pattern around the petal area and i think neon color and metallic color are going really well with each other so you can definitely try these two combination and let's see what we can do with the purple and blue color i think this silver kind of color goes well with these color and i think this one is very very nice this color is going well both with purple color and blue color 
now let's do the last one you can try different color you can try different pattern so totally up to you how you want to use these metallic color so i have shown you three different ways first you can use only metallic color to paint flowers but remember when you are using only metallic color the effect of flowers you can see only in a particular angle and the effect of overall metallic color you can see in a particular angle itself so we are done with all the nine flowers first one is only metallic color second one is normal watercolor and metallic color and third one is neon color and metallic color so hope you have liked it and thank you so much for watching